These days, Michael Jordan is married to model Yvette Prieto, but she's not the basketball star's first wife. Before they fell in love, Jordan was married to Juanita Vanoy for 17 years. Here are a few things you probably don't know about Jordan's ex-wife. Michael Jordan famously played for the Chicago Bulls, but his ex-wife was actually raised in the city. Born on June 13, 1959, Juanita grew up on the South Side and attended Christian Fenger High School and did some modeling work as a teenager. When she met Michael, she was a loan officer looking to get her associate's degree. And while she went on to enjoy the finer things in life when she married the man who would become the NBA's biggest star, Juanita made sure that her children had a connection to her roots. Living in the suburbs was a life that they got to enjoy because of their wealth. However, it was important to me that they also experienced how I grew up. News broke in 2006 that Michael and Juanita were headed for a divorce. Sources close to the couple claimed that Michael had not been home much in the months leading up to the split, according to the Washington Post. And Juanita's divorce filing said that they had lived separate and apart for some time. Another issue may have been the fact that Michael was allegedly unfaithful. While the announcement came as a surprise to some, Juanita had reportedly previously filed for divorce back in 2002. But then, a month later, they announced they were reconciling and withdrawing the petition. Juanita was ultimately granted $168 million after her and Michael reached a divorce settlement in 2007. She also got their 8,000-square-foot penthouse according to the Chicago Tribune. She sold it in 2014 for $3.2 million, a tidy deal that she locked down herself as a licensed real estate agent. Obviously skilled at doing business within a pricey housing market, Juanita also scored a mansion in Chicago's River North neighborhood for $4.725 million the same year she signed her settlement with her ex, suggesting that she was ready to move on after their highly publicized split. And what better place to do so than in a multi-million dollar new pad? Both of Michael Jordan's sons followed in their dad's basketball playing footsteps, and while neither managed to become NBA legends like their dad, Jeffrey Jordan did play with the University of Illinois, and Marcus Jordan took the court for the University of Central Florida. However, their mother Juanita wanted to make sure that they created identities independent of their famous father. It was important to me that they learn not to try to be their dad. Juanita says that she would insist that they not wear number 23, their dad's famous number, which is something that she felt would help them establish their own identity. Michael agreed that his children would face hardships when it came to establishing themselves, and he acknowledged that during his Hall of Fame induction speech in 2009. You guys have a heavy burden. I, I wouldn't want to be you guys if I had to. Jeffrey and Marcus Jordan may have taken after their father when it comes to his love of basketball, but his daughter Jasmine Jordan definitely took after her mother in terms of physical appearance. Jasmine hopped onto Instagram to celebrate Grandparents' Day on September 8, 2019, dedicating a special message to her parents to celebrate their first holiday as grandparents to her baby boy. Jasmine wrote, they're the greatest parents ever, and I'm so grateful for them. Kimi has incredible grandparents, blessed beyond measures. Many of her followers couldn't help but notice how much she looks like her mother. With the same eyes, nose, and sweet smile, it's clear that Juanita passed plenty of features down to her daughter, which makes us curious if little Kimi looks like his grandmother as well. Juanita is reportedly still friendly with her world-famous ex. In fact, when the pair split, some people who knew the longtime couple were surprised by the news, despite the fact that the two had apparently been experiencing issues for years. Family friend Les Coney told People, quote, I'm shocked and disappointed that their marriage didn't work, adding that they're both wonderful people and that he had no doubt they'll be putting their kids first. That indeed seems to have been the case since their split, which is one of the reasons that they still talk. Juanita told Crane's Chicago Business in 2013, Mostly our conversations are about the children. Divorce was certainly new to me. I had to learn that you have to communicate. That it's not about you or your ex-partner. It's about making sure the children are all right. However, she did refer to Michael's marriage to his second wife, Yvette Prieto, with a laugh, sharing, I don't remember him saying, by the way, I'm getting married. Some things are surely easier to talk about than others when it comes to opening up to your ex. 
While enduring a divorce can be tough, Juanita appears to be enjoying her life these days, years after her split from Michael. The iconic athlete's ex-wife opened up to Crane's Chicago business in 2013 in her first interview since she ended her marriage with the NBA legend, saying she was in a good place at the time. Juanita explained, I wanted to simplify my life. I got off boards. I downsized the way I lived. I had to because I wasn't going to be in a huge house. I really looked forward to the basic things, my children and my good friends. Beyond that, Juanita reportedly collects art, practices yoga and loves to travel. Additionally, the Gazette Review claimed she's been in a new long-term relationship with a man since 2006, but the details on that chapter in her life are a little harder to come by than her time with Jordan, who was, and still is, one of the most famous people in the entire world. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.